A story I came across recently truly inspired me, and I'd like to share it with you. Miss Drake is here in the audience who brought this story to my attention. Natalia and Nels Mortensen, both in their 80s, live in a small town of Marstal on the island of Aero in Denmark. For the last 40 years, they have been tending the grave, the gravesite of a young man they never met. They dig the weeds out, they place flowers, red, white, and blue ones, on the grave, and always there is a small American flag, and when it gets too worn, they replace it with another. They're watching over the final resting place of U.S. Air Force Sergeant Jack Elwood, Wagner, who died when his plane was shot down off the coast of that island, fell into the sea after a bombing raid over enemy territory on June 20th, 1944. Jack Wagner's body washed up on shore in occupied Denmark 18 days after his bomber crashed. And the word spread quickly. When the Nazi occupation troops finally arrived and to bury the young American, they found nearly the whole town of 2,000 had been waiting at the graveyard since early that morning to pay tribute and homage to the young American flyer. The path had already been lined with flowers. And when the enemy troops, they incidentally had removed his identification before the troops had arrived. When the troops had laid him in his grave and left, then the townspeople placed two banners of red, white, and blue flowers on the grave. They conducted a funeral service. One of the banners had a ribbon which read, thank you for what you have done. Jack Wagner was a 19-year-old American from Snyder County, Pennsylvania. They'd never met him, yet the people of the small town, thousands of miles from his home, felt they knew him because they said he was a young man who gave his life for their freedom. The Mortons have attended his grave four decades now, just as if he were a member of the family. We invited them to be here tonight, but they wrote and told me that at their age, they didn't believe that they could take on such a long trip. But Jack Wagner's sister is here tonight. Mrs. Wall, would you stand for just a second and let us? She has been to Denmark to meet the Martinsons and to thank them for what they've done. Let all of us learn from their devotion. After our meeting today and the heartfelt goodwill of this evening, I think we can all be certain that in the future, our two peoples will continue to stand side by side as members of the same family, the family of free people. Incidentally, I should have added that with the age of the Mortensons, the village in which they live has already officially made it plain that when they can no longer care for the grave, the village will take it over as an official function of that village.